Recently, we've witnessed the global expansion of Chinese electric cars, but what about commercial vehicles? Well, there are actually a lot of electric commercial vehicles from China around the world, but they're just old vans converted to be electric. They're not built on dedicated EV architecture. That, though, is all about to change. This is the Verizon Supervan. Yes, this is the Verizon Supervan. And if you think that sounds like a confident name, well, stick around because I think that I can convince you that this is indeed what it says on the tin. But who is Verizon? Well, Verizon are the commercial subsidiary of Geely. Geely are the same guys who have Polestar, Lotus, Zika, Lincoln Co., half of Smart, pretty much a slice of anybody else as well. Now, as you can see, they've got a pretty good grasp on all of the passenger car vehicle side of things, but they also want a slice of that commercial vehicle pie too, specifically the new energy vehicles like full battery electric vehicles, extended range electric vehicles, methanol and more. They already make a few vans and trucks, and you can see the video of the methanol truck in the top corner of this video. But this is their first concerted effort at a new generation van. But what do I mean by that? As I mentioned before, pretty much most electric vans today are petrol or diesel vans converted to be battery electric vehicles, and they miss out on the packaging advantages of EV architecture. This van doesn't have that problem. Underneath this camper van body is Verizon's self-developed GXAM platform, or Geely Multipurpose Architecture, which is essentially a modular skateboard chassis that makes this vehicle able to be anything you want it to be. So you can just as easily take off this camper van top hat and have it instead turned into a pickup truck or an autonomous delivery vehicle or even just an ordinary van. The chassis and the body are completely decoupled. And pretty much anything the top hat can do, the chassis can do too. So wheelbases and overhangs can be completely customized to suit the purpose. It achieves this by making use of dual redundancy drive-by wire modular architecture. What does that mean in practice? Well, on your passenger car, normally your steering and your pedals are connected to the car mechanically for your wheels and your brakes and things like that. On the Supervan, they're all electric. So your steering, acceleration and braking is purely electric. Now, I know what you're thinking, what if the connection fails? Well, that's what dual redundancy means. It means that if one part fails, there is another connection to back it up. What does a drive-by wire van feel like? Well, I'll let you know when I've given it a go. And you see, it's that flexibility that makes this van super because it frees up all of your choices. It's no longer an enormous hassle to make a platform left or right hand drive. In fact, if you want to sit in the middle, McLaren F1 style, that's possible as well. So let's take a look at this particular super van, which is in camper van form and see what it's like inside. Now, once we come inside, you can see we have the full camper van setup. We've got table over here come to that later on this side we've got a fridge down here we've also got a microwave up at the top there we've also got some switches here that operate the bed behind us and we've got a control panel here to control our lighting and air conditioning because we've got an air conditioning unit on the roof here at the back of the camper van you can see that bed up there which drops down from the roof in order to do that you need to move this chair out of the way you can fold this down like that and then slide it forwards tuck it under the table, which gives you the space to bring the bed down here. If you don't need the bed, of course, you can just simply sit and enjoy the sofa. And of course, if you need the bathroom as well, we've also got that option there. We've got a toilet that rotates so you can sit on it comfortably. We've even got a sink in here that pulls down. If I open the mirror here, as you can see, pull this down. There you go. I've got myself a nice sink in the bathroom as well. And behind this door here, we've also got a shower head so you can have a full shower in this camper van car. A bit of storage here as well, but let's take a look at this desk. Now this camper van is set up like no other camper van you've ever seen before because it's specifically made for live streaming. Now live streaming is not that big in Europe, but in China it is big business. People do it for tutorials, education, for fitness. They sell products online. They sing in the street and dance in the street. They even record their football games and show it live to the world. It's massive. 
and this van is actually going to get used at the Asian Games here in Hangzhou by one of the top Chinese broadcasters to do live interviews with guests and with athletes as well. And they've got quite a few features built in to help support that setup. Down here to my right, we have a large screen that folds out so you can see the screen on the outside. It can be used as an auto key, for example, if necessary. We've also got a screen up here in the roof that folds down to do the exact same thing. We've even got a rail above the driver's seat there to put a camera on to get different angles, different shots. Here on the desk, we've got a few useful features too. We've got a power tower over here for your plugs and things. We've got a wireless charger there. And if I press this button here, you'll find we've also got a monitor built into the desk so you can sit here and do your work or you can get your subtitles and things like that whatever you want we've also got a bit of extra storage here at the side as well so really everything is built into this this van to make it a pure live streaming vehicle and it's a really interesting option for what you could do with it but as i said you can do pretty much anything with it you want we can also turn around that front chair to your right from this angle you can see that we've got our slidey camera angle here so we can get some nice steady shots of the interior of this cabin we've also got the tv that folds down there we've got speakers we've got spotlights as well so we've got everything we need for live streaming now one of the feature that i can show you from this seat right here is this if i open this door to the side of me you'll notice that there is no b pillar here so there's no structural support on this side of the van giving us a much larger entrance to the cabin which is one of the key things about this architecture. Now, Verizon have strengthened the door all around the van here and the roof as well. And apparently in crash tests, 14 crash tests in Europe, it hasn't failed once, which is great. It does mean that you get many more options, even for kind of side loading of pallets, for example, if this were to be a van. Anyway, I want to face that way, so I'll see you on the other side. Of course, it wouldn't be an Inside China Auto video if I didn't tell you what it's like from the driver's seat. Now, bear in mind, this is a very, very pre-production model, so it's not fit and finished exactly as it would be on a production model. But what we do get is leather materials on the steering wheel, on the top of the dash, on the doors. We get some microfiber on the A pillars as well and on the sun blinds that's there. We get a driver awareness system to make sure that you're not too tired. We get a little screen there, square screen behind the steering wheel with your essential information. And here we get a larger rectangular screen with more functionalities. You get your ventilation controls here and some storage spaces as well. That's it for part one of the Verizon Supervan video. Stay tuned for part two where we're going to be taking it for a drive.